This bodhicitta is like a, that uh, that paint, the two three drops of that paint. When you mix with this whole two hours activity, which is like a white paint, white color paint, and then at the beginning you just mix this two three drops of blue color like a bodhicitta, and then you mix it, and then this whole white paint which is equivalent to with this two hours of listening, dharma teaching and performing some meritorious activities is cause of enlightenment. <laughs> very simple, in one hand very easy. So that, uh, that kind of skills that we have and then why we shouldn't use that since also there's nothing to lose and not so much hardship to generate and then there's a lot of advantage so why we shouldn't take it and then uh, how to say the and then uh, further and able to maintain that mind and then these are something that we should put effort yes absolutely this is not something easy to maintain but generating is not something very difficult either, right? Uh, and then, based on that, if anyone able to maintain uh, doing something continuously, great things. Anyway, so to generate this awakened mind uh, in this way, and then top of that, the kind of like a, the manner that while listening this Dharma teaching should be in this way that listen carefully in an excellent way and then try to hold it the word and its meaning the more important is its meaning absolutely and then top of that even even if you are capable then even try to memorize those words as well, which can help us to not to forget those meanings. And then whatever you memorize the word, sometimes you may can do this, your daily practice, like a recitations, every morning recitations, that read those, whatever you have memorized, the word, important word, okay. If one can memorize all, that's excellent, but it is something impossible because this Shantideva wrote it so many stanzas. So even though we are not unable to read and memorize all those names, those words, but there are some key points, key memories, uh, key words. So those try to memorize it and then try to maintain it. Such a, such a, uh, like a, yesterday is within this kind of like a, uh, that the, the, when we need to practice the benefiting, discipline of benefiting beings among this, there are such as some uh, stanzas which are very key point, very important. For instance, here, this is kind of like a, the inner, uh, here in this discipline of benefiting beings that we can say this is stanza the um, where is it that 102 and 103 stanza 102 and 103 then never at the cost of life or limb forsake your virtuous friend your teacher Learn it in the doctrine of Mahayana, supreme in Bodhisattva's discipline. And learn how to attend upon your Guru as described in a Sri uh, Sambhava's life. This and other teaching of the Buddhas you should understand by reading in the sutras, like that, this kind of key point. Uh, these kind of some words that's memorized and then so you time to time you just read remember again and again and then it helps to hold the meaning as well anyway so what I'm trying to say in the point is that when you listen the 
Lama teachings, that your manner should prepare in this way, that listen carefully in an excellent way and try to hold it. And what you need to hold is this, memorize. Through this meanings and words, the way of holding is by memorizing. Memorizing is the way of holding the word and the meanings. Ah, and then uh, the actual Dharma teaching of this way of Bodhisattva's life, that which has 10 chapter and four main came. That among the 10 chapter, that four of them we complete with the first theme. And then the second theme, which is to how to not let it transgress the Bodhisattva's vow and how to not lose this Bodhisattva. For that, one, how one should study and how one should train oneself. And then the, how to say, uh, in order to train ourselves to not to transgress and not to lose bodhicitta, then we need that sense of carefulness. And then top of that, and <clears throat> also we need mindfulness and introspection. So, so far, the, with the all reasons, now in, in very point is this, the fourth chapter point is that we need to have a sense of carefulness to not to transgress and lose this bodhisattva and bodhisattva's vow. And then also mindfulness and introspection is the also very important things that which can help us to not transgress and lose the bodhisattva as well. And then by based on having these three things within oneself, and then how one should train into this way of Bodhisattva's life, then it, we should, you should train yourself first this the discipline, the morality, and then discipline or the morality itself has a three level or the three stages. And you should start practicing oneself from the lowest one, which is the discipline of refraining wrongdoing and then discipline the ref refraining the wrongdoing and then in that method that uh, something some something that when we are really kind of like a uh, incapable to do it then the key is that Shandadeva was saying like try to be like a piece of wood try to be like a piece of wood it is something in a one way it is like a when we read this, it seems very easy. And then in a, on, the, on the other hand, maybe if we try to memorize this, or oh, uh, try to be, a, be like a piece of wood, piece of wood, then uh, it might work. So we should try that. And then top of that, once we're familiar with this training, and then next step is to discipline or the morality that which uh, try to gather the virtues to try to gather the virtues then to understand those main key point in that one is like you understand this how they normally becomes this uh, greater virtue and mediocre virtue and small virtues how it can become based on our own intention and our own action with the sub, with the related related with the some specific object, and through that we try to minimize as much as we could the negative side, and then we should we should try to kind of like a, uh, maximize and as much as we could the positive side. And that we should uh, train. That's what, what we should train. And after that, then once uh, wants to do more practice, then this third stage of discipline, which is the discipline of benefiting beings. And then the dis discipline of benefiting beings. And then so far that uh, we have the Shadideva give here many different skills. And some of those, like a, 
uh, benefiting others has to benefit through, mainly through one's our own belonging things and uh, the, what do you call it, uh, then offering oneself, serving for others. And, but, and then also uh, giving idea, sharing idea. So that's the one, that's actually, that is generosity practice too. This is also like a morality. The discipline of benefiting beings is also, it includes the generosity too. Generous, we need to generous to this, our belongings and our body, and then our idea, the Dharma teachings or whatsoever. These are idea, right? These are the skills, methods, ideas that which we have and we should try our best to share with anyone who have ingested. And that's way. And then, but again, at the same time, Shandideva made it very clear here. And yes, to, be, to practice the discipline of benefiting beings, and you should try to generous to your belongings and your body and your all those acknowledge, knowledge idea whatsoever do you have the learn it but and then but then again he's making some exceptional such as like a belongings that mm, he's giving in this teaching directly he's giving like that based on a ordained when you are ordained and when you practice the generosity which is kind of like a like giving the belong, you are belonging to materials, and then you you don't have to give these three ropes. Other than that, it is okay to give. Now this is he give advice based on this ordained, and for the lay, and it might become different. Absolutely, there's a, for the lay, there's a no this three ropes topic. There's a no related this three ropes. Why these three ropes that Shandi Deva mentioning, and because of the in Sutra also Shantamani Buddha mentioned too, because these are the things that very much needed for your survival. And you are very dependent on this. So therefore, this is something that you need for benefit others. So therefore, you protect this. Likewise, for the lay, maybe it can become like a very those uh, kind of like a necessary thing for their own survival. That they need to survive to uh, help and benefit others. And likewise, the bodies and serving for others and giving to others. And then Shandideva also made it clear that until your compassion becomes pure and until that moment, then except then uh, kind of like a cutting your body and giving life for the others and rest of others you may can do but this things this true generosity you may no need to practice at the moment you can just keep that as the aspirations one day you may be able to do this but until you reach to the you are compassionate very pure until that moment you don't really need to act so for that purpose, you see, this now we doing church practice every Saturday. So these are something that when we don't really able to act actual, and then we are acting through mental, giving our body. So anyway, so this is our side topic. But anyway, so Shandideva made it this clear. And then also Dharma teachings. Yes, Shandideva said, yes, you should give Dharma teachings whoever wants. And then after that, he is making exception. But you shouldn't teach those in general who are a disrespect to the Dharma. And then such a disrespect means and such a carrying weapons and without any ill, sick, covering hands and blah, 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 these things. And the persons who is disrespecting the Dharma you don't need to teach. And then also further deep, then he also said, okay, 
don't teach those very high and deep meaning to those who are not vessel enough. Don't teach that too. First, what he said, you teach, you give Dharma teaching. And then second, after that, but you shouldn't give Dharma teachings to those that, they, that type of person, that type of person. That, there's a lot of exclusion. This is something that uh, the people, this who wants to, who, who is very willing to practice this discipline of benefiting being, they should understand. This is also for the beginners, the person, the beginner practice, begin practitioner, that who really wants to practice this discipline of benefiting beings. But when they overestimate themselves, and then they do practice this one day, two day, three day, bye bye. Eh? <laughs> three day, then okay, this is not for me. Forget it, Shandideva. <laughs> That's the danger is there. Then, then that people never ever practice this again. Right? So for the long run, for the long term, it is necessary to make a balance. Then, but keeping wish is no problem. That still we can keep wish through mind, we can do it. Nobody can stop us to do it. Even though, for, for instance, this is, these are very actually kind of like, a, in a one way it seems like a tricky, but on the other hand, this is necessary. It's needed for the beginner. beginner. To not to lose that hope and keep maintain that willingness, wish, but not really acting because incapable. It is not because of I don't wish, I don't want. It is not because I am incapable at the moment. So you see, that's the skillful now. Maintaining this is the balance. That's how it making it makes it keeps balance. These methods are actually important for the kind of like a beginner. Yes, definitely. And then Shandi, they were also making very clear this for the beginner. Until you you are compassionate, get pure. Don't give your body to others. Don't give your life to others. Like those history. We have many histories, somebody who gave their life, who gave their flesh. And when they reach to the sudden compassionate, the pure compassionate stage, then they do this, they don't have any regret. They don't have any uh, kind of like, a, the, uh, yeah, the most important is the regret. When we regret, then whole our activity is wasted. There's no meaning. So therefore, Shandideva doesn't want us to kind of like rest for all those that he's recommending. If you are compassionate, it's not pure, then you don't really need to act, act. But you need to keep willing wish. You need to keep that. This is now kind of like an aspiration bodhisattva and application bodhisattva. For the first Bodhisattva's way of uh, life practitioner, they recommend the practice the aspiration Bodhisattva. And then with the one percepts, right? It's like that. This is kind of like a, uh, the, what do you call that? Uh, the, what do you call that? Steps to practice. Or that is, that is, those bodhisattvas, their skill, how to guide the followers. That is not being something very tricky, tricky as we sense. It's not really kind of like a tricky, tricky. The tricky means some sort of like a um, kind of like a very little negative, right? When we say you are so tricky, means you are not really 
honest, you are not really helpful. You are tricky means somehow you're fulfilling your own wish. When the, wherever you go, you're fulfilling your own wishes, your own willing. That's tricky, normal, isn't it? Some agree and some not agree. <laughs> See, within here, few people, they are also like some yes, some no. <laughs> tricky is tricky. <laughs> tricky is just tricky. Not necessarily the, not necessarily the, um, at the end, the goal is to fulfill your own wishes. No? Tricky, 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 the word tricky itself is complicated. Complicated. <laughs> You can trick somebody into something. Yeah, okay, so, so then, yeah, then this, I mean, your understanding tricky is okay, but Sean's understanding tricky is not okay. <laughs> there's, there's a little pinch of negativity. Yeah, a little pinch of negativity is there, right? So, that's all these skills that how Shandide was guiding, it seems a little tricky, right? Is it? Seems a little tricky. First, he's saying, oh yes, you should generous your belongings, your body, and dharma. And then later he's saying, but, <laughs> but, you don't have to give things that which is very needed for your own survival. That you don't have to give. And he said very directly the word based on a using the ordain example. If you are ordained, then you don't need to, you have to give everything, but not your three ropes, right? And you have to serve others, you have to give your body, but not through cutting and not life. And, but there's a but, tricky. <laughs> it's called tricky or no, Sean? I don't describe it as tricky. It's, uh, you won't describe it as a tricky? Yeah. Okay. And then what? Tricky seems to be uh, um, motivation is to be a little bit deceitful. A little bit deceitful. It's <laughs> kind of thing I don't mind being deceitful. It's <laughs> on both sides. Yeah, a little bit deceitful. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, so that's how that uh, Shandideva introducing here, that to, when you practice to the discipline of benefiting beings, and you should benefit beings through giving your belongings, giving yourself, <coughs> giving dharma teachings, but not those, these, these. And then that's how he made it, it's all. Uh, how to make a balance Train yourself the discipline of benefiting beings. And then such here, yesterday we learned this. And also he's recommending many other skills, such as a taming your mind is also very important to benefit others. Confessing your misdeed is also very important to benefiting others. And then maintaining your vow, the following accordance with the precepts is also the very, uh, how say, important for the benefiting others. And then dedications. Dedications is also very important to benefit others. And then benefiting also we described yesterday a little bit. Why that, how to say, dedicating into enlightened is important to uh, maintain to benefit others or the practice this discipline of benefiting beings. And then fifth one that we are here in the fifth skill that Shandideva was providing. Also Shandideva was saying oneself to train into the dis discipline of benefiting beings then relying on authentic teacher is important to benefit others. And then he described this 102, that how to, uh, how to say, uh, what type of teacher that you should consult and you should rely. And then while you're relying on that teacher, how you should rely 
And then he gave this uh, two different ideas that one is history and another is Shajjaman Buddha's advice. Listen to his advice. How Shajjaman Buddha recommended to depend on teacher, rely upon teacher. How he advised it and the inner history that Sri Sambhava's life history. How in this history, the guiding how to rely upon spiritual teachers, the authentic teachers. Listening this advice of Shakyamuni Buddha. So first thing that which we completed yesterday, and then that yesterday the Dhamma is asking that, okay, so how disciplined should be, the disciple should be, then disciples should be, and we, well, we talk, we discuss many things in this uh, relating with this Shri Sambhava's life story and how you should be like very bold. These are the examples, right? Be like a son, kind of like a, a what kind of son? Huh? An adoring son. Kind of like, yeah, adoring. You have to be, you prepare yourself to be like an adoring son, very bold. Earth, the diamond, and many examples give. Diamond is like an indestructible, right? Very firm. And that's that's how that when you rely on a spiritual teacher, you should be like that. Diamond. And these are the something that says. And then further also that Shakyamuni Buddha, and as I told you yesterday here in this stanza, that it is say this. My stanza number 103, right? The second two line. This and other teaching of the Buddha you should understand by reading in the sutras. Then in the sutra, how Shajamani Buddha guided, how Shajamani Buddha recommended that while you rely on his spiritual teacher, how you should be, how you should rely to this spiritual teacher. Mm -hmm. Then uh, let me tell you two his two different uh, kind of like uh, uh, advice. That one is he's saying like this, the the sutra in Dulwa, the Dulwa Lumles, the Vinaya um, transmission something sutra, Vinaya transmission sutra. In this, that how he gave this advice how to rely and uh, how to conserve the spiritual teacher is that he used, he gave this advice saying and this first that this is example what is what how he is giving example is he's saying this salishimla means this uh, kind of like a the there's a the salishing is I think refers to this white senden white sen not white senden pukar kind of like a pukar there's a one specific tree which has a very good smell very good smell it's a pukar I think pukar shin if we don't understand we can also understand like we can use another example like let's say like a white sandal tree sandal tree and then teaching is like a teaching is actually general the whole all trees name but here refers to those ordinary trees which doesn't have any quality means which doesn't have any good smell which doesn't have any nice things and but if that tree wood okay tree or wood that if we put among the, that the sandal wood and then keep there long then eventually it will become like a, that ordinary wood will going to start smelling sandal this is his example. Salishima, teaching shin. Like your ordinary tree, when you put into that the group of salishim, which means that 
nice smell trees or the fruit. When you keep that ordinary, unsmelling, that non, non-smelling, yeah, non-smelling, ordinary tree, when you put that into the extraordinary tree, which has a very good smell, if you keep there long, then eventually that ordinary tree will going to be smell the uh, the extraordinary tree smells too. And with that, I remember this one of the our friend that uh, his name is Pema actually is there. He he's very tricky now. <laughs> he's tricky, and he is grow up with us, and and he is not true. He, but he grow, grow up with us. He study with us, everything with us, eating with us and everything. And then later, he used to tease his friend. He say, smell, smell, smell my skin. <laughs> and then his friends are smelling like, what? And he say, didn't you smell turkus? <laughs> It is that way. <laughs> very, very funny, huh? <laughs> he teased his friend this way. <laughs> that is one way it's very funny. It's the other way is like this is the, the example that what Shajamani Buddha gave, right? From that he got this idea and he is using this idea for some very how can I say now? Not really necessary, <laughs> but however, he's teasing his friend. Smell, 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 and then they don't smell anything, and then he had to describe. Didn't you smell drugus? <laughs> because I've been staying with drugus that many years. <laughs> anyway, so this is what he's saying. Salishiman, that's what not he's saying. Shajamani Buddha is giving this advice. Salishima, Chishinshin. Likewise, anyone that's ordinary, not any, doesn't have any qualities, but if they rely on those secret person, right? Secret, not secret, secret person, right? Tamba means secret, uh, means now great or secret sin, right? Tamba namla tenyurbas, if they rely on the sacred persons, then Sangrupa Chubarchets, that that ordinary, uh, very ordinary person will going to be embraced with their all kind quality. Their all kind quality? Should I say that? Sambhupa Chubarchi, actually Shajabana Buddha saying that Sambhupa, Sambhu is kind, Pal is kind of like a, their glory or their quality or characteristic. The pearl refers to that. And Sambhupadhyachubhachis, that will, that person will going to be embraced by their kind quality. Just like that ordinary trees. That's how Shadyamdhani Buddha gave this uh, advice, which means in a, in a short, what really showing means that, okay, it is always beneficial and the always better and beneficial if one one kind of like a rely on those sacred persons. Okay, just that one. Okay, and then further that even again again that what Shajamani Buddha said some other advice in this. Nanka Jimami Vindos, which means the Stainless Sky Sutra. Stainless Sky Sutra. In that Sutra, what Shajamani Buddha gave this advice to Anand, his assistants. And then he called, he said, Kungao, the Shinshe Banamni, Sanjan Tamjela, now Sanjan Tamjela, now Mayindi. Gave a shinian in your son, now a shirt and jing, Tarvisa Ben David Chir, a shinshiba, namely, gave a shinian, how for young, song she. So that's how Shajamani Buddha gave this advice to his assistants, this Anand. And what it means that calling Anand, Kungao is his name, Anand, in Sanskrit, Anand. 
Anan, and then Shajimana Buddha saying, this uh, appearance of Tathagata per se. Appearance of Tathagata will not going to happen to every sentient beings. Okay? Deshin Sheba, Deshin Sheba Namni, Senjen Tamjela Nama, my angels. The Tathagatas will not going to be show off or appears to all sentient beings. And then, Gewe Shinyani Yongsu Namis. But spiritual teachers will going to appear and show off themselves to sentient beings. Namis. That's one thing. Namis. Chirtenji. Not just appears or show off. But also they teach the Dharma. Chirtenji. And not just teaching, but also the Tarmisabhan Devi Chirps that uh, sowing the seed of the liberations to you, to sentient beings. Tarmisabhan Devi Chirps. Therefore, the Shinshin Bhattamle gave it in the Tamboriyang Sushis. So, therefore, that you must pay more reverence to your spiritual teacher then how you reverence to the others. Yes, absolutely. We, we have faith and reverence to the others, right? That we admire Shajamana Buddha. And then but Shajamana Buddha saying, yes, that the, even you should reverence and you should devote to your spiritual teacher and more than the how you reverence and devote it to Tathagats. The reason he already mentioned above why you should pay more reverence and may more devotion, devotion than the Tathagats to your spiritual teacher. Because he gave these three reasons by saying this. The first reason is that Tathagata is not something we're going to show up and appears to the every sentient beings. But on the other hand, this spiritual teacher is will going to show off and appear to every sentient beings, and not just show off, but also he will going he or she will going to teach, and also and not just teach, but also will going to sow the seed of liberations to sentient beings. So therefore, to understand all this, therefore you should consult, you should reverence, and you should devote it to your spiritual teacher. So now, is this enough? How showing that how disciples should be? That's what Shajamana Buddha mentioned. And we can use those, these examples, that these three examples as well. And then further, okay, if you want further, and also, okay, that the some other advice that how disciples should consult and rely on a spiritual teacher in this way, that it is saying that the, what do you call it, you must look your spiritual teacher in this way, that it is saying the what do you call it? in this world those are considered or well known a very skillful schemer schemer right schemer or planner schemer schemer you understand schemer scheme planner is better okay planner or a schemer such as accordance to the persons they consider maybe their parents are very good schema very skillful schema or skillful planner for the long run for future they are really have they have the skills to see far away we assume that 
And definitely, when we were child, I also assume there's a no smarter than my parents in this world. Yes, 100%. From the, from the age that I am aware a little bit, and to the almost uh, 12, 13 ages, for me, there's a no more, not, no, I'd say, there's a no more skillfuler than my parent. My parent is the most. So therefore, if I have to put some reasons, then I will simply, I will going to put, oh, my mother said that. Finish. This is it. And I will going to put my simple, the, the, how say, reason, and my father told me this. <laughs> but after 13, 12, 13 age, then it changed. <laughs> then, then it changed. Then it goes to here exactly saying, teaching saying, parent, and then those elder. And then you, re, you rely on those little elder who are little, knows many informations. Then you think, oh, now they are the one. And then, actually, in Tibetan, we have the same, like, uh, the Yalbo, Lembo, Zo, Genrap, Pama. Okay? We consider, yes, these are kind of like, a, in this world, those are considered or well known a very skillful schemer, skillful planner. Such as uh, we will going to start from present and then to go up, 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 like those kind of like a, those elder person or who are learned person. And now, and then we think they are the most smart and skillful person in this world. And then the so actually so doesn't have any uh, this. Literally, if I translate it in Tibetan, what saying the so means those who are main person in the society, in the community, main person. Means it is becomes like okay, we can give like little example like the uh, what do you call it, mayo, yeah, parent, elder, mayor, and then provincial minister. What? Minister, right? Eh? What? Minister? Mayor, after mayor. Mayor is just Toronto, right? Eh? One city's, city's main person. And then we have Ontario main person, right? Eh? This is again mayor? Provincial. Provincial. Premier. Premier. Yes, premier. And then above premier, prime minister for us. This is just example with the Canada, okay? And then for the ancient, they don't use prime minister. They have king, right? Minister and king. Yeah, these are the persons, yes, normally in this world. These are the persons considered as a very, kind of like a very good scammer, right? Very skillful scammer, planner. Therefore, we put them up there. Nowadays, democracy. We put Justin Trudeau up there because we hoping that he will going to be, going to be the right person who have a right skill to scam for this country for long run. Anyhow, I don't know now. <laughs> Some people not agree. <laughs> Anyhow, so this is normally it is that how we consider, right? How we consider and this is exactly giving advice like that that from my young age to when I know the all this worldly systems then my this the kind of like a uh, very skillful scammer will going to be changed so, uh, uh, no no my parents are not now or those, maybe those teachers, those uh, kind of like a elder persons are more skillful 
than the, my parent. This is, it is related with the, our own capability, okay? That's no guarantee. This is related in accordance with our own capability. Then we will going to project some minister or king or mayor or, or, or elder persons or parents or whosoever. Normally in this world, yes, and these are the such, these are the persons that we consider. They are the very skillful in scheme, scheming, scheming or planning. And then far-sightedly we consider. But what you need to understand is that he is saying, the, in the teaching it's saying, but still that normally who we are considering very skillful in a making plan, but they don't have that kind of plan and such an idea or the skills which can help oneself for this temporary or within this life that we can have some comfort, comfortable, peace. At the same time, at the same time, that following that method or the skills or the plan that which help us to catch the path of liberation. See, path of liberation. And not just that, even further, if we follow their skills, methods or the plan, which also can give us comfort in the future. Like means even in the next life. And not just that, but also this following that skill will help us to claim up to the path of enlightenment. And then not only just that as well, and then in the ultimate, following their skills, idea or the plan, makes you perfect. So you can benefit both yourself and the others in a very perfectly. Which is some, those great person, Many great person happen in this world. That they benefit themselves, and they also benefit others. And ultimate, they make themselves perfect, and then they benefit both. So you see, these persons, we put the examples, are normally in this world considered very skillful in a scheme, scheme or the plan for the success. But even this very skillful schemer have no such a scheme or the plan that which can provide us all these consequences or the result, what I just described. You understand? Do you understand? It seems like you don't understand, huh? Uh, What I'm trying to say is that the scheme, scheme or the plan which, okay, in a short, which can support oneself and help oneself both for the temporary and ultimate, that kind of plan other than your spiritual teacher no one can give you that idea. That's what it means in short. 
But if we just say this very short rap, we don't understand. Therefore, we need to go this very order. Then, when we contemplate, it makes sense. Yes, for instance, let's see now. As I normally say, our parent who care maximum to me, right? To me, my parent is the person who care me the most, who care about me the most, right? But you know what? My mother never showed me one path, one skill, one idea which can give me some sort of like a enlightened as far, even liberation. She didn't taught me. It is not because she didn't like to tell me this. It is because she don't know. She had no idea what is liberation at all. So how she can tell me? Right? Likewise, my father as well. So you see, it does not mean that they don't care about me. They don't want to, they don't want me to achieve liberation. They don't want me to achieve enlightenment. They wish, they want, but they don't have any skills to tell me to how to do it, how to achieve it. No. And then in this world, all those elders. If you listen to their advice, <laughs> they will going to pull you in some sakra further, more. <laughs> you, oh, you need to do business, or you need to cheat, you need to lie, you need to go. <laughs> All this advice, right? None of these skills will going to help me to achieve liberation and enlightenment. That's for sure. Even that these skills, the fact this skills will not going to give me a comfort as well. Happy, peace, no. All these skills, if I follow what I can gain, maybe a little bit name, wealth, physical comfort. I make and gain by following their advice, their skills. That's all. Yeah, that's really true. This is exactly. This is talking about the not all elder, okay? The worldly elder. That made I made it this clear. Then this this different elders are now becomes like, oh, these are then spiritual elder, <laughs> spiritual teacher elder. Right now, that's different. Here we're talking about the normal, ordinary elder who have all those mundane education, information very well, who are success businessmen, who are very successful farmer, who are very successful, I don't know, doing lawyer or doctor or mechanic, engineer, whatsoever. And then the very ordinary engineer, I don't know how they were going to be. I don't want to talk. Anyway. Anyway, <clears throat> so that is exactly right. So, parent, and then yes, absolutely. If we follow the skills and advice that what, what our this Torontonian 
mayor gives. And then, and he was going to pull me down. <laughs> and then this prime minister, absolutely, no doubt. All those politicians, right? It is not saying these skills are not working in accordance with these societies. No, it might work in accordance with these societies. But it is really hard to give the comfort, 100% sure comfort. And then also to, and then at the side, as I told you, the skills, let's say the skills which I got from this ordinary prime minister. Okay, if now this is also exclusion. If the Justin Trudeau has all this great idea about teachings, then he is also be, could become like a very very great leader too. Just like a, in a some, for instance, like a Dalai Lama. Is both politician leader and <laughs> Dharma leader, right? You see, and if you if you follow his advice, then it is very good for both. It's good for society, and it's also that same idea. If I follow, it also helps me to catch the tip of the part, tip part of the liberation too. I'm catch. Okay, now I'm there, right? And then also, if I follow those ideas properly, then it also makes my future life better. And then from, and also not just future life better, but also that idea, same that idea, if I just follow itself, is I'm claiming up to the path of enlightenment. So when I say like this, I'm using this example, Dalai Lama, I'm being a little biased here because I'm Tibetan and he's Tibetan leader. <laughs> but somehow it is fact too. Right? If anyone, so this is one obvious example that which I think most of the people agreed, right? But even most of the people doesn't agree, but some country, their leader could be like that too. Why not? Who have this great understanding, experience, knowledge, and at the same time, ruling the politicians, then they might could become very skillful. But somehow, yes, the skills or the method which can help us both for this temporary this life, comfort, peace, and then at the same time, able to catch the path of liberation. And then to the future, also continuous comfort, peace, at the same time, able to claim up to the path to, of enlightenment. And then in the ultimate, keep following that same advice, same skills, and then in the ultimate makes you perfect and then able to benefit both self and others. That kind of skills, this is something like one skill does all this result, provide all this result, gives all these consequences. Okay, it is not something that, okay, other Jose, they, to, to achieve this six different result, there are six different skills. No, this is all one skill. One skill gives all this six different result. That's what it is saying. So that kind of skill that it is, it is saying in the teaching advice that we cannot get from our parents. We cannot get that kind of skill from, from our elder 
ordinary elder, okay? We're talking best, I told you already this one, huh? Elders. And then we cannot get this from mayor. We cannot get that kind of idea from our minister. We cannot get that kind of idea from our king. Only we can gain, get that kind of skills from our spiritual teacher. That's why he is saying, understand that, and therefore, then you, sh you will going to understand how this spiritual teacher is important and how one should consult and rely on and devotion to the spiritual teacher. But the authentic teacher, absolutely. I'm not talking this any kind of teacher, no. Okay? Authentic teacher, absolutely. And if you have 100% authentic, uh, that's great. That's exactly talking about. And then, yes. Um, Isn't it now the same way that or what Shadyamani Buddha said in the Sutra actually? It is just elaborating a little bit more. What Shadyamani Buddha said that the spiritual teacher will going to be show off and appears in front of certain beings and also teach the Dharma and also uh, put the seed, sow the seed of liberation on certain beings. Therefore, you should pay more devotion and reverence than the how you pay to the Dhaka. These are the now here in this word it says, right? Other teaching of the Buddha you should understand by reading in the Sutra. This is the what Shajamana Buddha said in the Sutra. That how you should, uh, how to say, uh, how you should pay reverence and how you should uh, devotion to your spiritual teacher. And then on the other hand, okay, so same this sutra word, how Shadyamana Buddha said, right now what I said is. I try to elaborate a little bit to compare. This is here, we're comparing this to it's not to look them as a useless and down. No. This is not the purpose. To clear understand the value of a spiritual teacher, if we don't see this first, we won't be able to see the value of a spiritual teacher clearly. Just like a, many other kind of like, a, let's say like a, the Mahayana scriptures, which is talks about the view of the middle way, like a Chandrakirti text, right? Entering into the middle way. Entering into the middle way text. Have you heard about? Yeah. In that text, Chandrakirti describing a oh, whole bunch kind of different views. Not just Buddhist view, he also pointing out the many different non-Buddhist view too. What do you call it normally? Believer view, non-believer view, or nihilism view, all those views he is pulling up. They, they, they are who say, such and such, this non Buddhist. There's a many non Buddhist, different non Buddhist religious, right? Within a Hindu, there are so many. 
some like a kind of like a the uh, Krishna believer, Shankar believer, Vishnu believer, like oh many different views. And then he is pulling up all those views. They view this way, they view this way, they view this way. And then going to the Buddhist or oh, Buddhist, even Theravadan view this way. And within a Theravadan or oh, this kind of like a the hairier Theravadan view this way, solitary realized Theravadan view this way. And even within the Mahayana or oh, this just uh, how to say uh, the 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 philosophy which consider everything just as a mind. Oh, they view this way. Even within a middle way, and there's a different middle way too. Some middle way viewer, they view this way, and they view this way, and this way. And then he is pulling up all this view to understand clear. The what he's trying to show in the view. Without understanding all this view, then you won't understand the value of this view. What's the difference? You will feel after you under after he introduced his view, then you will say, What is this for? What's the difference? You won't understand. He is also pulling up all this to not to look down then. Purpose is to clear understand to your own view. Likewise here, same way that when I describe this all parent, elder, mayor, minister, king and all this, yes, normally we consider they are the very Skillful planner, isn't it? Schemer or planner. Planner is better shown. Schemer has a, a slightly uh, can in many contexts have a negative connotation. Oh, yeah? Somebody's scheming to get the best for himself. I see. Schemer. And then scheme is not. Scheme is a little bit related with the negative, mixed with the negative meaning. Often, yes. Not always. Often, yes. Plan is neutral. Planner, okay, planner. <laughs> if you say uh, Levi's master is a schemer, it's equal to the trust of schemer. I see. <laughs> what I found from dictionary is a schemer. <laughs> anyway, so that's to purpose is to just to see clear the value of spiritual teacher that's all okay when you understand that then that's great but not to look down to those eyes it is not purpose of that at all so understand clear now does it make clear now how disciple should be yeah, a little bit, not really clear, clear. <laughs> that history, the earth, very bold, this is also good, isn't it? No, you don't need to understand all this. Again, I'm saying the same thing as before, right? This is kind of like a scripture, right? Scripture writes whole bunch of idea just kind of like a, you are going into the market what you need is one piece from there and whichever suitable for you just pick up that and put it into your mind and then stay practice that one if the earth example is good for you then just pick up that earth and be yourself like the earth If the fairy boat is a good example, then just pick up that fairy boat and be yourself like a fairy boat and then practice it. Mingle it, that meaning in yourself, within yourself. 
Likewise here, and then this his story, and then also this Shajamuni Buddha advice. If the if the this example of this kind of like ordinary tree and ordinary wood and then the extraordinary wood example is good, then you just understand from there and then be with it, practice it with it. If not, then further we try to get it more clear by reading another Shadimani Buddha's advice, like how he gave this advice to Anand, how you should uh, rely more towards your spiritual teacher than the how you rely on, on Tathagats. Because of that, oftenly he or she will going to be the person who will going to show up in front of you. Not always Tathagats. Tathagats will going to only come show up to us occasionally. <laughs> Right? Occasionally, Tata Kata will going to show up. Tata Gats are not coming often to us. The person who is going to come often to us is the spiritual teacher. That's how one time I say that the, when I attend the 2017, the Tsongsa teaching in Sikkim. And he also said that in that time, that this is something also very relevant, that he said, oh, this, he's giving this Hatsun Nakwajigin's treasure teaching at that time, empowerment and teaching and transmissions, everything. This one great treasure reveler uh, almost more than 300 years before happened in Sikkim, called this Hazun Nakajime, his very great Sokshin master at that moment. That uh, Holiness Ninyong Muche, the previous one, that is, he said that during that, that moment, there is not a such greater number than him in the area. Anyway, so Hatsu Nangwa Jimmy's his appearance is a little strange, actually, not normal, abnormal. His appearance is abnormal, a little scary. If exactly that type of person, how we write Hatsu Nangwa Jimmy in a painting, if exactly the same that type of person appears on us, we might going to run away rather than consulting him. <laughs> That's why the Zonza Chandra said at that moment, you are so lucky that some teacher, same teacher as you who have same shape, same nose, same mouth, showing off to you. If I am appear like Lajuna Majime here, you all may be run away right now. <laughs> That's actually one way it's very true. The husband number Jimmy is kind of wearing this skull cup on the head and very naked, blue color, holding this damaru and tumbling on the head. <laughs> and very looking gesture is not really gentle, gentle, smooth either. And then have this bear like a shown. <laughs> 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 yeah, and then wearing this tiger, kind of like a the skirt in the lower. <laughs> if really somebody show up like that to us, then I don't know what I can do too. Whether I can see as a spiritual teacher, or I will see as an evil person. <laughs> That's what he said, but it's, it, is, it's, it feels like very relevant. The teacher, your own teacher, that which you can uh, talk, you can share. And, all, and also he said this one too. If teacher really comes in a form of deity, especially this wrathful deity, then 
What? These are actually, uh, it's relevant, right? Relevant? It's relevant. Anyhow, so, okay, so now these are the reason, that's why. And also the another further reason that as I'm saying, this in Buddhism, the refuge is the get entrance, right? Get entrance. And then why we are taking refuge under Buddha and Sangha? Because of Dharma. Because Dharma, which we can get by relying on Sangha and Buddha. That's why we are, we are going refuge to Sangha and the Buddha. Because of Dharma. They hold it that. They, they taking, they taking care of this Dharma. Therefore, anyone who wish to practice right spiritual path, then they have to rely or make friend with those who have it. This is simple. That if you need money, you need to make friend with those who have money. You don't. It is useless for me to making some friend who doesn't have any money. While I am needed money, okay. While I needed money, this is very mundane example. Okay, don't take this serious. This purpose is to just to understand the dharma. The persons who really needs dharma to practice a spiritual practice path, and they have to make friends with those who have this spiritual path, who are taking care of that idea who have that knowledge. Same way in a mundane too, that when we want mundane educations, those modern educations, we need to make friends with the modern teacher who is teaching in university, high school, wheresoever. We need to consult them. We need to make friends with them. We have to learn from them. Same way here, this we are taking refuge under Sangha and Buddha because of Dharma. And now on the other hand, this spiritual teacher is actually playing the role. Sometimes Buddha role, sometimes Sangha role. But however, through the spiritual teacher, you also can get this Dharma. So therefore, kind of like a spiritual teacher and oneself, the spiritual teacher, how to say, it, between Dharma and oneself, the spiritual teacher is like a bridge who make connection between myself and the Dharma. For, for example, to me, that whatsoever I know, understand this spiritual teachings of teaching of the Shakyamuni Buddha and so on, that all because of our Let Holiness Penalty. He, when it is necessary, he become Buddha for me and he become Sangha for me too. And he is also Dharma for me too. That's now excellent. That kind of person is so rare to find. He is also Dharma for me. But that type of person finding it's very rare and difficult. Unfortunately, no. If you are so fortunate, then maybe you will going to find that type of person. If one's a bit not so fortunate, then we might find bridge. Not the fully dharma from the person. That dharma, anyhow, that why, okay, we need to devote to, we need to 
We need to have a faith to a spiritual teacher. We need to have a devotion to a spiritual teacher. We need to rely on a spiritual teacher. We need to uh, reverence to a spiritual teacher. It is because of that I want to practice Dharma. Therefore, that what I want, the practice Dharma, which I can gain, which I can get through him. That's why. That's why I should reverend. That's why I should devote. That's why I should have a faith. That's why I should have a, a what do you call it? Rely. So, also from the disciple point, okay, from the disciple point, what really they have to understand is that this is the goal. Okay, why I have to reverence? Why I have to have faith to him or her? Why I have to consult? Why I have to rely? Oh, it is all because what I really wish I can get through that person. That, if you put the reason, then that becomes very right reason for you to consult rely to a spiritual teacher. Now, after understand that, that now you should remember yourself oftenly. That's how you can make it your this faith stable. Your devotion is stable. Always same reason. From young to the old, I have same reason consulting this spiritual teacher. I have same purpose. I have stable purpose, I have stable devotion, I have stable faith towards my spiritual teacher because I learn this from him, I get all this information from him or her, whosoever your spiritual teacher. When you keep that, then that makes very stable your faith and devotion. And that's how you can answer very easily to anyone. Oh, why are you consulting this person? And then you can easily say, oh, because I can learn so many dharmas from that person. That you have a very good reason. Anyway, so, okay, anyway, so this Dharma, number one, the point is that you should put the Dharma is the thing that I can gain through him. That's why I'm faith and in him or her or whatsoever. Okay, rather than spending time by using these two words, I should just use person <laughs> in that person. I have faith in that person because of Dharma, which I can learn, which I can practice, which I can study, which I can contemplate, which I can meditate on its meaning, that I'm able to do all these things through him, through that person. You can put that as a reason that why you're you are having devotion and faith and consulting and relying. Okay, so now that's the one very important skill that Shandide was showing here. If you want to practice this discipline of benefiting beings, then you should rely on authentic teacher. And how you should rely on authentic teacher is this way. You should have stable faith, devotion, and reverence by putting any kind of those good reasons 
that is it. Dharma reason. Oh, highly likely this is Dharma reason, right? Shajamuni Buddha, what he gave, this is also Dharma reason. This good smell is like a Dharma, which you can gain by sitting beside the good smell trees. If, you, if that ordinary tree stay with the another ordinary tree, even you stay eons and eons, you, get, you didn't get any smell, any good smell, right? So that good smell is like a dharma. That ordinary beings is like a just pers this person that who wish to have that good smell. And then those trees are like a Buddha and that Sangha or the spiritual teacher. Spiritual teacher plays both roles, right? Sometimes he played the Buddha role and I give all this teaching. And sometimes he played the Sangha role doing practice together. Anyway. So that's the fifth skill. And then the rest of other, it's not difficult. Okay, so let me finish this chapter now, today. <laughs> and then here, from this stanza number 103, Dode Lame, okay, Dode Lame, Shepardja, stanza number 104, Dode Lame, 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 that now this is the sixth skill from stanza number 104 to 107. This four stanza, right? Let, let me read first. Yeah. Indeed, within this sutra, all the practices are found. Therefore, read and study them. The sutra of essence of the sky is the text that should be studied first. Now, here, Shandhi, they were recommending, okay, this is not something difficult to understand. Now, he is recommending, if you really want to practice the way of Bodhisattva's life, thoroughly, then you read the sutra. And among the sutra, he is recommending first you read this, which is called the sutra of the essence of the sky, where all those 18 precepts describing thoroughly and how to confess clearly in that sutra, Shakyamuni Buddha mentioning based on a Bodhisattva's saying the Nakiningo, that is Akashagarbha Bodhisattva. Shakyamuni Buddha is introducing to his disciple the characteristic of Akashagarbha, the sky Nakiningo, the Bodhisattva's Akashagarbha. In describing his characteristic, and together, and then he is also describing all those bodhisattva being a bodhisattvas, and after receive bodhisattvas, wow, and what are the precepts if you break, you break bodhisattva wow. What are the precepts if you maintain, you're maintaining. And what if anyone breaks, what the going to be consequences. And then what if someone breaks, how to repair, recover. Confessed, and this is all detail shows in that sutra. Therefore, Shandideva here recommending generally you read all the sutras. Sutra will going to tell you how to practice the way of Bodhisattvas in thoroughly, and specifically among the sutra, he is recommending first you should study this one. 
and then also some other. All that must be practiced constantly is clearly and extensively explained within the digest of all discipline. Is that digest of all discipline? And, and okay, digest of all discipline. Or, or we may can say like a compendium of training. Compendium of training sutra. Not sutra. This is kind of like a, what do you call it? Shandi Deva, he himself composed this one. Compendium of training of Bodhisattva. In, therefore, it is here. In this way of Bodhisattva's life, precepts are not in details information there because he wrote this already in that compendium of training of Bodhisattva's. Therefore, when he, when he when in this in this the Bodhicharya Avatara also he recommend look that compendium of Jenny to understand the, all the precepts detail. And then now Shandu they were recommending his own uh, kind of like a composed book. You should study that as well. So this is the something you should read repeatedly. In order to maintain, in order to not transgress your bodhisattva as well, in order not to lose your bodhisattva, and these are the things. And then also, the from time to time, for sake of brevity, consult the digest of sutra and those two works pursue with the diligence that noble Nagarjuna has composed. That Nagarjuna also composed these two different things. That one is also similar name as how Shandideva gave his, his book's name, like a compendium of training, Latu and Dotu, compendium of Sudra, compendium of Sudra and compendium of training, compendium of precepts. You understand what I mean, compendium? A compendium, right? Combined or compendium. And he's recommending those you should read in order to practice very thoroughly, properly. And whatever in these scriptures works is not prescribed, it, be sure to undertake and implement. And what you find enjoined there, perfectly fulfill and so protect the mind of worldly beings. Whatever uh, not prohibited for the Bodhisattva, and then you make him do it. Whatever not prohibited in those scriptures, in those sutras and tan, the what do you call shastras, right? Shandideva, he wrote, Nagarjuna wrote, these are considering shastras. Right? And then those sky sutra, these are considering sudras, which is taught from direct from Shajamana Buddha. And Jibensa Nasuni Jalabatone on that is to to uh, to protect from this worldly uh, scandal, then you you must look those precepts and then uh, try to be with it. That's what it's saying. Lava Pong Jabashas. So with that now he completed giving all this how to practice the discipline of a benefiting being. Okay. And then now from here this Luna Sem Jinek of Layanda and Dutta Dajawa then you can do an initiation so it's in yours. Examine again. And yet again, the state and actions of your body and your mind, this alone defined in brief the maintenance of watchful introspection. Not so understand. 
hard to understand, right? And then, Ludi Dace Basha, Tizam Jube Chishibu, Menje Lava Zamjin and Nevadala Penu Ram. And then, but all this must be act out in truth for what it is to be gained by mouthing syllables. What invalid was ever helped by merely reading in the doctor's treatise? Tre treatise? Three times. Three trices. Three trices. Three trices. Three trices. Three trices. Three trices. <laughs> Australian English or the island English. <laughs> and how is Vietnamese English? <laughs> Here. Jesus. And how is Chinese English? Jesus. Anna? Jesus. Jesus. Sean, how do you say? Jesus. Three trices. <laughs> Three trices. Okay, anyway. So, two line is example and two line is meaning. That's easy to understand too, right? So, you must. This means that after you study until now, then after you understand all this, you must act now. So, the Bachevarsha. Just reading and understanding is not enough. Like a like a menje Like that if you just read the doctor's treatise, oh, in order to cure this your disease, you must not eat this, you must eat this medication, you must do this exercise, you must walk this much number of the day, kilometers on, on the day, per day. And then saying this, if you don't work, if you don't avoid those food, if you don't eat this pill, if you don't kind of like a exercise yourself, reading doctor's advice is not going to help, right? That's what it is saying, same, same. That so far, whatever we studied, how to in, engage oneself into this way of Bodhisattva's life, orderly, start to gain those sense of carefulness, mindfulness, introspection, and then based on that, and engage into the discipline of refraining, misdoing, wrongdoing, and then discipline of gathering virtues, and then discipline of benefiting being. But until now, whatsoever we understand, just practice it. Whatsoever we understand from now. That's what we mean. Anyway, so with that, we completed this uh, chapter number five. Half is gone. And then next Saturday, yes, we, will, we won't have teaching. Um, that we have something to do. Probably we might not have practice either next Saturday, Jut morning. We have to skip that, Jut and teaching next Saturday. And then Sunday, I will get back to normal. And then Sunday, Sunday we might discuss about this whole five chapter or the only fifth chapter? What do you want? We must choose one. And I will raise question you need to answer. It's kind of like a test. Okay? So which one we want to do? You, I will give you two choice. Whole chapter until now or just the focus on this fifth chapter. I say all. all chapter. Actually, this is my mistake. Actually, I should do test in time to time. 
Okay, so until now, so next Sunday we will going to discuss and test about this whole chapter until now. And then later we will going to do each chapter. And then if I forget, remind me, okay? <laughs> if I forget, remind me. Then each chapter we finish, then we'll do one test. Okay, then if you have question, we can discuss. When, when Shakyamuni Buddha said to Anand, the practices do not show themselves to all beings, why not? Uh, why not? That's okay. The targets are not appearing to the whole sentient being. Let's say, even during Shakyamuni Buddha, his own time, okay, his own time, wherever he stay, and those environment person will be going to able to see him. Other than that, if anyone wants his teaching, they have to receive from his disciples. Those are teacher, spiritual teacher. So his disciple is everywhere, right? Appears in the many different places to the many different beings. But himself is kind of like one piece. <laughs> one piece. <laughs> so but on the other hand, we might can say that he can manifest it. <laughs> and if you say, and he will, he's, he, he have all these answers. Yeah, that, that's, 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 you treat them as me. And even he's saying, he, you treat them even more than me. Yeah, even during his own time, it's also very difficult to everybody to see him, right? Now, even he is not here on this earth, right? He is not on this earth. And then, to to study his philosophy or to study his advice or to study his teachings that we can only gain, get through those teachers. And then Next Sunday, I will going to make a list of questions. Then you need to give answer. I will going to ask. Okay? Now you have one week to study this five chapter. Okay, then we dedicate. Sunam de Pamje Zivanye, Pomnen Yebendanam Pamje, Shegananji Walla to buy, Sibit Olendo and Dorisho, Jambal Pavi, Jitterak and Banam, Kundu Sambu de Andijendi. Yada kunji jesu dalo ji, gewa gida kamji ragomo, gewa ndi shi wokan, sanam yeshi tozoni, 
सनम ये शिल जोवे तंबा कुनी गोरशो संजे कुसुम ये चिनाम दा चिनी मिंजर दंबे चिनाम दा गेंदम मिचे दंबे चिनाम दे गेदरम ओवा नल गोरशो by this beneficial activity may i obtain omniscience and having vanquished the harmful enemies greed anger delusion may i liberate all being trust about helplessly by the way of birth aging illness and death in the ocean of becoming by conforming to the knowledge of courageous manjushri jambal yam and in the same way as samanda patra kundu sambo and following their example i dedicate perfectly all this virtue by this virtue may all be perfectly achieved the completion of merit sonam and wisdom yeshin and may they thereafter obtain the two holy body which is dwell from this two accumulation by the blessing of the buddha sangye who obtain the three bodies by the blessing of the immutable truth of the dharma ta shuni by the blessing of the infallible aspirations of the sangha again May this prayer of dedications be accomplished just as it is. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day.